Hello, welcome back. I thought I'd do a new in haul this week. It's all my new in autumn winter range. Um, this is what I've collected, I think, over the last couple of months. Uh, I don't think you've seen any of it. A couple of pieces you might have seen on the uh, H&M haul that I did a little while, a little while back. And that went down really well. So uh, I'm going to show you this week all my new in pieces. Um, if you're new here, welcome and I hope you return. Please give it a thumbs up if you like it. Any suggestions, I'm open. So uh, please leave any comments down below. Uh, all links will be to these items as well. Just click on the show more and you'll see it all there. So let's crack on. Um, first item is this dress. I'll come a little bit closer so you can see the detail in this. This dress from H&M, oh, I absolutely fell in love with it. It's got, it's, the, the detail in this is all through the elastic. So you've got elastic neck, um, elastic cuffs, elastic bodies. And I just love this detail. The material is, oh, it's absolutely gorgeous. When it turned up, I actually ordered this online. Um, and it came so screwed up, but I've ironed it and I've had it on a couple of times and it doesn't seem to be creasing too bad. But I just think it's absolutely beautiful. I'm going to um, actually write a whole post on this dress because I think it looks a little bit dressy, but I think you could style this dress so many ways. Casual, night out, smart. So yeah, um, if the post is up, actually when the post is up, I'll leave the link in the box there as well. But I absolutely love this dress. I think H&M at the moment, it's my go-to place. There's not a day goes by, I can look on that website and want to buy stuff. And it's so reasonable. I think this was £40, £49, and it's just, it's... It's nearly down to my ankles, it's quite long. Most people it'd be midi, midi. But I just absolutely loved it. It's in, it comes in four or five different colours as well, I think. So, yes, beautiful. I've ordered this in a size. I think I've got a 10. glasses on yes size 10 so and it fits perfect I'm normally an 8 to 10 so for reference there you go but I am 5 foot 2 right um, next new in we all have to have our cosy pajamas don't we um, now I'll be wearing these with um, my grey cashmere lounge robe that I've got. These are uh, cyber jammies, cyber jammies, and these are from Fig Leaves. I love a pair of pyjamas. This is what I would wear around the house until I need to get dressed. Some days I don't even get dressed if I'm working on my PC all day and I like to be comfortable or it's the weekend, I'll put something like this on and a dressing gown and just be all cosy. But I love the print of these. Nice uh, piping detail as well on there. Beautiful. I had some side pajamas in the summer. I'll put a picture of those up. And I was so pleased with them. So I just thought these were a lovely autumn colour. Right, um, next up. This was an absolute bargain find. I got this in George Asda, £10, and I've worn it so much already. Beautiful puff sleeves, easy, collarless, buttoned straight through, but boy, 
this colour it's like a it's not pink it's not beige it's like a pinky beige it goes with everything jeans trousers it will go with black it will go from every spectrum from black to white and I know I'm gonna wear this so much so yeah ten pound I think this was came in other colors as well and actually I wanted to mention this top that I've got on this one it's from Balky and the high neck top it's got puff sleeves this does not crease at all it's got buttons down the back you can see them and it's such a lovely top this actually is from last year but I know they've still got some left on the sale so I'll link that down below as well I'm just wearing a plain denim skirt with that from the Roman it's just buttoned all the way down right this is new I've literally received this yesterday this is from Balkin again and I've gone for this print it's got a lovely tie top there uh, long cuffs that's how long the cuffs are but there it's very elastic -y, so I'll be able to ruche them up just a beautiful go with anything uh, top casual smart whatever it's going to look really lovely this is a lot more fitted than this one that I've got on but their materials are absolutely wonderful and their tailoring is amazing you've got some ruched detail in here on the on the shoulder there really lovely and with that I've got another skirt because I had two skirts from Valkyan last year exactly the same style as this pockets on the front pockets on the front and you know I've got two of these skirts and if I go to stay in London which hasn't been for a while um, I put my other two in a suitcase last year and I was amazed that they came out crease free these these would make a great working skirt they're floaty light got the pockets you've got like a pleat detail here but it's nice and flat on the, on the tummy really lovely I'll post some pictures up of my other two skirts that are they're exactly the same cut but they're in different materials and I know how much I like them and I see it was available this year in black and I thought that is my go-to skirt because I know I'm going to get a lot of wear out of that um, Reese had a sale and I bought myself some trousers and I absolutely love them. I've actually sized up on, on these trousers. I'm normally an 8 in Reese but I've bought a 10 and I didn't want them to look too tight. I wanted a more slouchy look. I want to be able to half tuck my jumpers and I thought these were lovely. I still like to wear my light colours in uh, in winter regardless. I'm a neutrals girl at heart as you you know anyone that regularly comes here they know that I am and while the Reese sales on I thought I'll grab them while I can because their stuff just flies out when it goes into sale because let's face it it's high end high end high street Reese and their tailoring is impeccable so yeah they've got two back pockets just nice plain straight trouser um actually that would go nice together won't it bell lily this was a brand that i just worked with recently i think i think it's a chinese brand china or american i'm not sure cheap as chips but I see this on there, they asked me if uh, I wanted to work with them and I am denied, I'm not going to lie because it all looked a little bit cheap but I spotted this and I thought, I don't know, I actually really like that and I think this was, this is the, um, it's the earliest part of clothing from this haul and it was towards the end of the summer 
and I thought it's going to go with white, it's going to go with beige, it's going to go with light blue. It's a very light knit, it's got some detailing on the neck there and on the shoulders and it's really baggy. I just, I'm just trying out this slouchy look a little bit at the moment, although I find it hard because being short you have to be very careful. So yeah, um, the blouse. Now, you would have seen this in the haul, the H&M haul that I did. I, this is one of the items that I kept because, wow, £12. You, can, you can't say no at £12, can you? You just can't. Um, look at the detailing on the cuffs as well. And on the back, you've got the three buttons. And it's just beautiful. I absolutely love it. I love the colour. They did this in um, a couple of floral prints, a black and white print and other colours plain as well. £12. You can put cardigans over this. It's going to look lovely. Um, and well done to H&M for doing such a gorgeous design at such, such a cheap price. I mean, you can dress this up, can't you, with black trousers. You can wear it with jeans. Beautiful. Really pleased with it. Uh, next up is a brand that I haven't worked with for a while. Um, and that's M & Co. And they've just kindly sent me this gorgeous leather biker jacket. Look how soft the leather is. It's scrummy. You can, <laughs> it's gorgeous and it smells beautiful and I've got a black biker jacket I don't wear a lot of black neutral is my main colour and as soon as I saw this it's what I chose because ugh, it's not camo, it's not, not cream it's a proper beige toffee fudge colour I would say um, with silver hardware on this one so I would have to wear silver with it I'm not a lover of mixing metals um, and I've sized up in this as well I've actually bought this in a 12 because I know I'm going to wear quite thick knits under it I want it to be roomy so I did size up but I am very pleased with it M and Co have got some really nice bits and pieces at the moment and worth looking at I've had some lovely stuff from them in the past and we lost touch. I used to always go to their events. Well, I wouldn't give to go to an event at the moment. I love going into London and going to a good event. I really miss it. I'm wondering what this, uh, oh, it's just all going mad again, isn't it, with coronavirus and new rules. Um, so I'm hoping it's not gonna get much worse. <laughs> this could quite easily have been an H&M haul, you know. Another item from H&M uh, is this white shirt, that's better, white shirt, it's got puff sleeves, they, they dropped, but I loved the puff on the sleeve, nice cuffs, it was only cheap, £17.99, a little bit more expensive than the last one, but I thought with jeans, your biker under, you know, a biker over even, or I really like these uh, sleeveless knits that are out. I've got my eye on one, but it's not in stock yet. And I really want to get one of those. So I thought with the puff sleeve, it's going to look really nice. Because then you're bulky on top. Put a belt on and it'll make you look nice and slim. Yeah, so I'm really pleased with that. It's nice and roomy. What size did I get? medium i bought this in a medium because i wanted it to be roomy another item from h&m it might how many pieces are here from h&m one two three four five i should have called it the h&m haul shouldn't i but like i said they cannot do any wrong i'm scouring online all the time and for price bracket and quality H&M are killing it. They're absolutely killing it in my book. This cardigan, Coty gun, I bought. Actually, 
I bought this in a medium, I'm quite sure, and it swamps me a little bit. I'm hoping I'm gonna, uh, I'm hoping I'm gonna shrink this in the wash a little bit because I've worn it. Um, it was the day that I went on in the last weekly vlog. Uh, I went to visit Mum's memorial bench, and it wasn't cold, but I couldn't wait to wear this, and I belted it and it looked lovely um but it just feels that sorry camera cut out yeah i i wore it with a belt and a dress um the sleeves i used my soft elastic to keep them ruched up because they are absolutely massive on me lot there's my hand um yeah so i should have really got a small so if you do order this, order your normal size. I like it. I love it. It's lovely and soft. It's only cheap, I think 20 pounds, but it looks lovely with a belt, with a dress over, jeans, whatever, you know. Yeah, very nice. And last is the H&M trousers that I tried on in the last haul because the quality is brilliant and they fit so lovely i tried them on in the beige as well but i actually went for the black i don't have one pair of really decent trousers in my wardrobe in black and i i love these so much and i thought that they're only cheap you know i can't really say they're I can't really say, you know, these are my top designer trousers in my wardrobe, but when they're on, they're nearly as good as the material's brilliant, the fit is brilliant, so I'm really pleased with them. Yes. Uh, what else have we got new? Accessories. How gorgeous are these shoes? I actually did unwrap these in one of my weekly edits. But they're such a Chanel dupe. The heel is just perfect. These are going to be great if you work in an office. How smart are they? You know, I just think they're absolutely beautiful. The leather is super soft. These are by Olive Aubrey. Um, she does all shoes this height with this heel, but in lots of different designs. And I've got a bright yellow pair actually somewhere that are beautiful in the summer but she asked me if I'd like a pair to share with you all and this is what I chose because oh, they are just beautiful next up I've got some trainers from Hotter because I've just joined the gym I'm being a good girl although I didn't go at all last week <laughs> I need to get back into that but I am very pleased with them as well. They're very comfortable. You can see I've been wearing them. Um, very comfortable. Super soft leather. Hotter actually have some really nice uh, shoes and boots for winter this year. They're nearly all flat. But they definitely know about their comfort. So I'm really pleased with those. I didn't want plain white or plain black. I wanted something, and I like to look dressy wherever I am. <laughs> so I chose them in gold, and I think they're lovely. Next up is this. And I am so pleased with this. Uh, it's not actually the item that I wanted to order. This is from uh, Sweden of London. No, Ideal Sweden, they're called, and it's a phone bag. And I don't know if you like me, when you're in Tesco's, I put my shopping list in my phone. So I don't like to be, I take my, sh my phone with me, and then I carry my phone and I'm pushing the trolley, and it's all cack handed. And I see these, they actually do um, a flat bag with no cover. And, but it's not in stock in the, in my phone size. So I've got this one and it just unclips and there is your phone. And it's magnetic. 
a strong magnet as well and then you've got the case behind I thought it was a brilliant idea absolutely brilliant so when you're out and about and uh, you don't want to be look it sticks in there easy and you want to be carrying your phone there you go and I just think that's really cute it comes in lots of different designs it's leather smells absolutely gorgeous you get different straps or you that uh, they've got a wrist strap as well I did actually get a wrist strap with this one very nice I'm really pleased with it so it's that simple you know Ta -da! because I never take my handbag with me when I'm uh, shopping in Tesco's or whatever supermarket I'm shopping in I just take my phone so my phone and my purse and that you know that's why I'm cat handed so yeah really really pleased with that and last thing on the list that I have barely had out the box even yet is a, a pair of shoe boots that I was sent from Bionic these are absolutely gorgeous Square front, perfect size heel, got a little zipper on the inside there and trust me, oh, I've written so many posts on Bionic shoes. Bionic shoes have got a special orthotic piece in the side here and going down the front so the arch of your foot actually will, will fit into that orthotic bit and they're like slippers every single pair of shoes or boots that I've had from Vionic I wear them to death you know if if I'm gonna go to London and I know I'm gonna do a lot of walking or wherever I am it's always the Vionics that I reach for I've had sandals shoes boots and they are absolutely amazing if you suffer from bad back or um, problems with the heel part of your foot take a look at the Vionic because have a read have a read about what they're all about and worth every penny they're they're not cheap Vionic shoes and boots but they are worth the money I've got I've got boots I think boots was the first thing I got two seconds I'll get them out there you go um this is my very first pair of Vionic boots. I've had these, I think now they're in their fourth year and they have done a lot of walking, a lot of walking, and I love them. The leather is amazing. And look, you would never think that I've had them for years and trust me, they have, they've done a lot of walking. So yeah, I totally recommend Vionic shoes. Oh, that's it gone through that little bit quick didn't we um i'd love to hear what your favorite item is on here are you ready for winter i've only just done my wardrobe changeover and i was more than ready i didn't have any shoes <laughs> so i've been wearing sandals right up until now so i was very glad to get it sorted out it took me a whole day i've got massive bags of stuff to get rid of um yeah so that's that i'm all ready i'm very happy with this lot 